My name is Karen Davis, and I'm the communications director for the club. I'm also the publications director, and I guess I'm stand-in president for tonight. <laughs> um, speaking of presidents, could I pass presidents all sort of wave? Let us know who you are. Ed, Carol, Philip is up here. Harold was here. Where's Harold? He is hiding. Okay. <laughs> All right. It's good to see everybody. Now, how about board members? So we can let you know, put faces with names. Okay. Leo is our multimedia director. Michael Orr is digital director. Philip over here is our print director. Linda Schmiel is our secretary. Terry is our webmaster. Terry Troxel. Back there is our new membership director, Susan Reed, and Joe Ring is here. He is our activities director. Who am I missing? Doug, the money man. If you are a guest and would like to join tonight, he's the man. <laughs> he's, he's always accepting money. And then our PSA rep is Carol Hageman. She represents us with the... Uh, Photographic Society of America organization. So we appreciate that. So it looks like everybody is there and I am your education director. There we go. And that's Marianne. Any other board members that I missed? And former board member, Dr. Nelson Marquina, who just made his entrance. <laughs> All right. All right, well, well, thanks. Hope you enjoyed the pizza. We're hoping to have some goodies again next month. Um, we are now meeting on the second Tuesday. Mark your calendar. Don't show up at the old church on Wednesdays. We're here uh, for the foreseeable future. And um, it's nice to have a big crowd. All righty. Um, let's see, do we have any other announcements from any of the board members? Yes, no. Okay. All right. Well, with no further ado, tonight is an image evaluation for those of you who might be new. Each of our members is invited to submit two photos. You can do either digital or print. We have some prints. Philip is getting ready to turn the light box on. Um, so you can, you can do those two at each of our six evaluations. And we have wonderful seasoned photographers who will give you critiques, suggestions for making those photos better. And it's just a great way to learn. So we're happy to have David Everett with us tonight in person. Uh, David is, here he is. <laughs> For all you folks on Zoom, you'll be hearing his voice, maybe seeing his face, I don't know. But David's going to go through our 85, I think, 85 photos tonight. So David, you're going to have to chug. <laughs> uh, so we're hopefully getting started in the next minute or two. Philip is ready. We will be displaying the images. If you're too far away and you can't see the prints, the digital image will be up on the screen. You Zoom folks out there will be able to see the image in the comfort of your home. And um, I think we're ready to go. Leo, you ready? Okay. All right. Leo is going to make changes. I'm going to step off a of camera. The first one is Canyon Lands Trail. Thank you. Um, I was looking at this on the screen. The placement of this path is perfect. You're over here in the third to the left. I like that. Um, I'm not sure about the color in this sky. It looks a little bit a touch of green in it, which can happen at times and, and be normal. It's a nice bright blue, but a little touch on the green side. Other than that, the color on this is really good and well done. Great composition. I love the image. That was by Mark Best. This is Catching Dinner. Beautiful shot. Um, 
The only critique of that I would have is that it's too centered, but then it's probably the best placement for this. Don't know what's to the right or to the left, but if you could put it a little bit farther over here, it would not be as static with it being totally centered like that. It's a beautiful shot, and I love the reflection. Couldn't ask for better there. That's by Philip Snyder. Dead Horse Point. This is a little bit different take on this shot that I've seen. Most people tend to eliminate this in the foreground, which I'm glad you left it in. It adds interest and draws me in very much. The uh, textures, the shapes, all of this just draws me in. And then back here to the water. It's beautifully done. Love the color in it, too. That was Doug Turn. Humpback Covered Bridge. Uh, this has been done so many times, and it's done well uh, here, except for one small thing. You've got more space over here on the right than I have on the left. I did. Face on the left, and just a little bit less, maybe up here to just this side of that tree, there to the left. That was also Doug Turner. Rainstorm over Grant Canyon. Not much I can say about this, except that it's beautifully done. Really love the use of the green on each corner. This mass over here tends to bring me this way. I get the shape tends to keep me in it and keep me going around in this. It's nicely done. Beautiful exposure and color. That was by Mark Best. Mark's been busy. This is Spider Lily. I love images like this. It's uh, got beautiful motion back here from the greens going up and out towards the edge, and then the center just draws you in and keeps you going around and around in this. It's beautifully done. Love the fact that you left space down here that's a little touch blank so that you have this dark versus the white helping to balance it, too. It's nicely done. That was Philip Snyder. Okay, the uh, first digital image is entitled A Road Less Traveled. Um, I love that centering of this. Um, the only part of this I don't like is the brightness of this path. It tends to draw me and keep me too tightly in because of its brightness. I'd like it to tone down just a touch so my eye can wander around the image better because your placement of the trees is beautiful going towards the um, triangular shape down at the end. You have to, you have to follow it. You just can't avoid that with the road this way. I just tone that road down a little bit. Tony Johnson, Ooh. a walk among the tombstones. Infrared. Well done, too. Love the composition with the branch coming in at the top left, the leaves. I like to have seen the points of those leaves right at the top end, but that's just a minor thing. The shape in here in the circle keeps me going around at the bottom. I love this image. It's beautifully done. Joe Ring. Abandoned sign. I'm seeing a lot of centering of images going on here. And sometimes you need to think about putting them off center to keep the interest because it makes it more static 
when it's all straight in the center. Uh, you've got space on the left that you might have eliminated a little bit of and given more space to the right. That sign down at the bottom is free as my interest. Uh, Kemp Davis. African redhead Agama. Beautiful shot. A uh, little bit too far forward to the right, but that could be just that you had to do it that way. I'm not sure. Uh, beautiful exposure, beautiful color rendition, nicely done. Mm -hmm. Susan Van Manden. After, uh, after dark drama. This has the potential to be a really nicely dynamic image. Uh, circular shape with the points coming out, keep you going around and around, and then the insect capturing you up it to the top left. But again, you, it's not centered, but it's not quite off center enough. Maybe a little hint more to the right and a little more space on the left. But then somebody else is going to complain that too much empty space on the left. So you're damned if you do and damned if you don't. Sarah, against all odds. Ooh. Um, I've seen this shot a few times. It's a uh, beautiful spot to photograph. Uh, I can't remember the name of the... Uh, dunes and, and the place, but it's been done quite a few times. And again, we got centering of the image, which keeps you for a moment, but it doesn't keep me going around in the image because the center is so strong. Um, you, know, you don't always want your subject centered in an image as dynamic as this. Um, a little bit more to the right, I think, would have been better because these branches over to the right lean that way, and you would have given them strength by putting them a little more to the right. Yeah. Ben Cotton. Ben Cotton. Are you my lunch? Okay. Um, this image looks hot. It looks overexposed and not brought down enough. Uh, it may be just the way it's showing on the screen. I don't know. I like the fact you have the eagle to the left of the frame and that branch going up to the right and angling towards the corner helps too. But the brightness of it bothers me. Aaron Davis. <laughs> Baby clock. Ooh, nice. Okay. Here, here is a possible debate. Cut out the green or don't cut out the green. We have an awful lot of space on the right. And the image to me is the owl. And the green tends to draw me to the left, away from the owl. But I love the dark shadow on the right. Its shape is beautiful. And the curvature keeps me going around that portion of it. And I really almost bothered by the green being there because I want to just look at that owl. Cindy Walker, big gold. This is one of those shots where it's hard not to center it, but it might have been better a little bit more off center. I see we're having a lot of that tonight. It's kind of the... Uh, Typical reaction we most, most of us have when we first get a shot lined up is to center it in the frame and shoot. A uh, little more thought. You cut off the foot at the bottom. Uh, the brightness and color of this is a little bit off, too. It appears overexposed original. John Schickler. Black Sand Basin Hot Springs. Wow. Love it. Love the color, love the rendition, and I love the softness in it. 
So, well done. Patrick Tuda. Uh, Breaking Bad. Ooh. Love this. Like the treatment of it, too. The, um, I'm not sure what they call it these days, but the high contrast, I really like a lot. And this works well with it, with the, um, I'm not sure that's punk, but whatever you want to call it these days, it, it fits it. It fits the image well. Leo Vainberg. Uh, celebration. Fun shot. Love it. Balanced well. Good rendition of it. You can't help but have a little bit of heat in the center, the bright of the light. So that's to tolerable. With the people are perfect. Love the shot. Carol Hageman. Chuan River Sunset. Nicely done. I've seen the shot done before. It's all about the light and this. Nice balance on the left with three trees on the left and a stronger balance on the right. So you may, you wind up making the viewer look towards the center and going back and forth and around this image nicely. Kurt Engelman, Christina's New World. It's hard for me to uh, critique people shots. Uh, I did not do a lot of this kind of photography. This appears to be done pretty well, and it's probably in the style of current photography of people. A little harshness to it. Uh, touch overexposed. Uh, nice composition and design of the image. Michael Orr. City Lights. Nicely done. I've done a shot very similar to this. And most, most photographers who shoot the city have done this shot too. And this one is just as well done as anybody else's. Good light on it. Caught at the right time. Dave Johnson. Coming through. Ooh. Wonderful mood. Fantastic shot. And I commend the photographer for being bold enough to be out there in that snow. <laughs> and with those buffalo coming at him. Hadjukuda. Confidence of culture. Hmm. I like this composition. It's very different. And um, let's see if I've got it. I like the use of Okay. I probably didn't have it close enough, Leo. And the action up here gives me a second subject to view and, and study. These two ladies over on the right-hand side, just about to leave the frame, it creates a nice circular motion to the image, going from left to right, coming in at the bottom, or coming from the top with the water taking you to the right and all the way around. Marianne Barnhart. Crystal Mill. I've seen this mill done before. This is one of the strongest shots I've seen of it. You lucked out with that rainbow. Beautiful. The only issue I have is the heat right here in this water. It's too burned out and no detail in it. Uh, maybe a darker exposure added to this. And Hageman. Desperation. Oh, it took me a moment to find that. Appears to be a person out there standing there. Uh, that makes the image, because when I was looking at this, it was about the shapes, but then that adds a little trauma to it. I love it. Uh, Style-wise, it appears hot in this uh, projection view. I'd like to see the tone down just slightly. Not too much, but just slightly. Wiley Wanbeer. Driftwood Beach. I love the strength. This brings you in and keeps my eye right here for a moment. You've got to check these shapes out and then follow that all the way across. And then this brings you to the back, to that tree. It's uh, beautifully done, nicely composed, well exposed. Susan Van Manen, 
dugout. Oh, oh, oh. Couldn't ask for better. People shots, that's great. I love it. Uh, one suggestion. You don't quite need this space over here on the light. Bring it in a little bit right to the edge of this hair here because that just takes your eye a little bit away from them. And this is where it is. Errol Hageman, Easter Island Magic. Wow. Great shot. I'm not, yeah, these appear kind of small, but then to get that much sky and that beautiful sky, you had to leave it like that. It's beautifully done. I'm envious. And vulture. Of course. Evening egrets. Don't know where you were for this, but I'd like to have been there. Beautiful shot. And these four egrets, yeah, four egrets there, along with this one to help balance. You've got a wonderful triangle there to follow. It just keeps you going around and around. I think I'd crop just a hint of this off because you got so much space on that left. It kind of takes you out a little bit. And you could crop a little bit of this off, too. You don't. Pat Davis. Evening on Chumanoc Hill. Is that above Denver? Who shot this? Hey, it's it's me. It's my shot. Um, it's above Tucson. Above Tucson. Tucson. Okay. I love this right here. That's perfect. And then all the that down there, it's uh, nice design having this on that left edge, bringing me over here. The lights take me around. That sky brings me back up and back around. And you've got this just enough detail and texture down here to make that work as well. Beautifully done. Kurt Engelman. Everyone's a model. Okay. Um, I'm sure he stood stood there and posed for you the whole time. Uh, I'd like to have seen it less than center. You got a hot area right here. I'd like to see taken down some. This shape, color, and brightness of this bothers me a little bit. I'm not sure it adds to the image. Maybe cropping it along here would make it a little more interesting. Even making it a vertical image because you don't really need that with that little black line right there is distracted and out of focus. So drop there, drop right in there. And if you can tone that down a little bit, great. Here you Lou. Pinch, wow. don't flinch. Crop the top off, please. That's about it. I love the shot. Rebecca Perry. Floral lace. Nice design. Coming from the upper left like this and pointing yourself towards that bottom right. These corners are anchored with a little bit of touch, which is nice. It's beautifully rendered black and white. I love it. Aaron Davis. Fresh fish for me. Oh, oh. Wonderful capture. I bet you're on Mike's boat. You got that just at the right moment. This is peak moment. And you caught it perfect. Nicely done. If you wanted to tighten it up a little bit, leave that big droplet in, you might have benefit by having just a little less space around him and putting him more towards that corner. Errol Annis, getting ahead. Mm -hmm. Well, I was going to crop this water off. I didn't mean to cut it all out. <laughs> I'd like to crop this just a little bit from here to here. Because you don't need all of this space on the left. But I love this line going here, right up to here. It just takes your eye this way. So don't give room for the viewer to go out on your left. 
bring them in at this hand right here and take them down here and make the triangle work this way. Lang Whitworth. Golden rails. Ooh. Nicely done. Perfect timing. That would be some set, I believe, for this. I love the way you caught the reflection here. Uh, the brightness of the sky up here is not bad. I, you got just enough blue in it to make it work. If you had it wider, it wouldn't be as, as dramatic as it is. Um, a little more detail down here, maybe, but yet I kind of love the strong blacks of this. Um, this is a shot that, as great as it is, I doubt my comments would have improved it anymore with any more detail or whatever. I love this. Here you live. Grain drain. Bring it down just a little bit across there. Otherwise, this is really nicely done with good flow and good motion this way. And then this brings me back around. So my eye keeps going this way. Jay Danny, gray is my color. Okay. Love these lines right here. I think I would have cropped it a little bit right there. This is one of those that it works this way. I don't know that what I'm saying would make it any stronger. I kind of like that weight over here. It's almost an emptiness to it because this has so much strength over here and substance, I guess you'd say. So that might balance it. Good design overall. Love that. Linda Burns Schmiel. Guardian of the pop bottles. <laughs> <laughs> nice shot. Well done. Not much I can say about it other than that. Beautiful. Heidi Nunnally. Guardian of the pyramids. <laughs> oh. Strong element with the uh, camel in the front and then the three pyramids, four actually, in the background. It leads you around nicely this way. Beautifully done. And rendering is excellent. This appears hot on this screen, but I'm not sure it would be. And Vulture. Guarding the reef. Whoa. Glad it wasn't showing its teeth. Nicely done. Look at that line there with that curve. Beautiful shape. All of this just works nicely. Well composed for underwater like that. Harold Lanham. Guernsey gentleman. Scott. Love it. Well exposed. Great smile. The eyes, I can just see enough to know they're there. But this little white dot bothers me. And I'm not sure if that might be the highlight in the eye. I'm not sure. Paul Bickford. Hendrix lives. Oh. It seems like forever ago I saw a shot similar to this of Hendrix. Oh. Guy I met down in Jamaica had it. Very similar to this. This is nicely done. Wonderful era to bring us back to. Heidi Nettley. Aaron Curves. Tighten this up. It's a beautiful shot. And these lines right here are great. You need just a little bit of room up here, but you don't need all of that or all of that. Just bring it in. Just don't get too tight. But you don't need that much space in it. Pat Davis. Hole in the wall. Beautiful shot. Well composed. Well rendered. 
Love it. Venkat Sandhaj. Into the mist. Ooh. I love trees. And mood shots like this are wonderful. Uh, the warm glow to it is nice, and the softness of it from the fog, I imagine. You've got that wonderful tree near the bottom left that brings you in and carries you around and takes you up here. It's beautiful flow in this. Nice. Liz Smith. It's uphill. Awesome. Tighten it up. Lead the bottom because that helps with the angle to have this here. Okay. But you don't need all of this or this. Your shot is right there. Bo Robertson. Keep eyes on the ball. <laughs> <laughs> but his eye isn't on the ball. <laughs> nice shot, though. I love this. This is a great shot. Well rendered, too. Ed Hageman. Kingmaker. Ah, harking back to the old days. Love the mic in the foreground with the two musicians in the background. I can't bring up the name, but they look like familiar. Uh, artists from the 1950s. That does appear to be Elvis, doesn't it? And this guy looks familiar, but I can't put a name to it. Sam Phillips. Who? Sam Phillips. Oh. oh. I love the mic being in the foreground like that. That works nicely. It's nice and strong. And then let you go back to the two. Susan Jaffer Reed. Kiss. Oh. I like the fact that you put them in the upper left hand corner. And this was tail feather right here. Brings you down to this corner. Tighten it up just a little bit more. Just a hair. You don't want to touch in the corner, but you don't want quite that much space going out on that right hand side. Harold Lanham, kite surfing. Wow. Caught the pelicans in just the right triangle with the guy. Nicely done. And then a repeat triangle down here. It's nice having repeated shapes in an image like this. Color is great. Love the blue gray of the water. And the fact that these are silhouetted and don't have too much or as much detail as you might expect. Means they're front lit, not back lit. Harry Troxel. Leftovers. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Right down there. I don't think you need that on the right hand side. But I'd leave his tail in. You, there's not much you can do to get on the left. But that doesn't really add it that much to it. And the red kind of takes me out. Love that. Wiley Wanbeer. Lemon Gelato Theater. Bring that in on the left-hand side. That takes me out of the image. Because the image is right here. That's where your image is. Marianne Barnhart. Look into my eyes. Oh, nice shot. Somebody else has been out with Mike. Really nicely done. You're a hint hot here, but that may be the screen. I don't know. I'd like to see a little more texture and detail in there. And this appears to be just a bit too bright. Kemp Davis, looking behind the facade. You know there's got to be a story somewhere in this. Um, not much you can do about the foreground. I wouldn't bother taking that out, anything like that. I might crop a little bit of this off on the left because you don't really need all of it. Maybe bring, bring it up to the edge of that round tree. I kind of like that there. But other than that, it's nicely done. Penny Holler. 
Manhattan from Hoboken. Whoa. The call to light, which is what makes this image great. Uh, it's real dark over here on the left, which has a way of bringing me in nicely. And the eye gets immediately drawn to the right and then back around in a circle. Wow, that's spectacular light. Beautiful. Michael Fleetwood. Misty Swan Lake. Okay. <laughs> this is, you know, we're always told that center in an image is bad. But at the same time, there's some images that have to be centered or, or gain strength by being centered. And this might be one of them. And again, just a little bit of space on each side. You don't need a lot because the image is right in here. John Schickler. Monday morning lover. Wonderful image. Um, I love the background being as blurred out as it is. So you will have to wonder just where he is. It appears to be a fence he's sitting on. It's a hint hot right in here. I'm guessing there was a flash involved. Uh, toning that down would have helped a little bit. But other than that, it's nicely done shot. Joe Ring, my friend Art. Love that portrait. That's got mood to it. It's got a lot of character. Beautifully done. Michael Fleetwood. My umbrella. Oh, just one more comment on that last last one. I like the rendering of it. Good high contrast without being too much contrast. It helps the texture and detail of that face. It just says he's got a lot of character and maybe a lot of stories to tell. Thank you. This is a vertical image that's been rendered in a horizontal. The image is right here. None of this adds to it. Sarah, nature's floral arrangement. All right, here we go. This, the elements take you all the way around this image. You follow lines wherever you go in it. It's beautifully composed. Nice movement in it. Nicely rendered. Tony Johnson. Not for private use. All right, and again, most of us have a tendency to do this too often. We put things too centered. You don't need all this space over here on the left. That sign up there kind of brings you in some, so maybe bring it down here like this. But that will throw that off center a little bit and strengthen the image some. Because right now you've got a lot of dead space here. Harry Matthews. Please have a seat. Kind of got the nouveau look. I love the placement of this. That goes back to the 1920s style to me. And the shot does the same thing. I think it's a nice render for the pieces that are involved. I'm not sure they're in Art Nouveau, but they have that feeling to me. Glenn Burn Schmiel. Point Bonita Lighthouse. Seen a shot done before, and this is well done here. Uh, I love the weight of this down here. Right, um, is that any better? Okay. I'm letting it stay too far from me. Anyway, bridge brings you in, takes you around. This shot has a really nice circular motion to it. The clouds help keep you in at the top. Beautifully done. Terry Troxel, pouring down. Well done shot. I'm not sure I'd have had my camera out there, but yeah, I'm sure you protected it. All that rain. But you caught this at a good moment with him looking back. Good placement of the elements here. And then them here is perfect. Nicely done. Bling Whitworth. 
purple passion. The colors take you around in this nice layer. It's a little bit bright for me, but then this is a nice style and something. So, well, so somebody's taking offense. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, it's very bright and very colorful. Uh, it's an interesting style to it. The shapes work well together. It's beautiful movement in it. Rebecca Perry, Racing in the Rain. I would give just a slight tightening to it. I'm not sure this one adds anything, but it might you know, kind of anchors that corner. And a little bit less room here. Maybe get those raindrops there, just a hint of space. Because I really like this right here in this line. Bill Whitworth. Red bellied stare. Love this background. That's really nice. And it works well against that bird. I'm just wondering how much of this you really need. Try it with taking some of that out and see if that strengthened it. Because this is awful, awful lot of weight over here. Cindy Walker. Reflection. Oh, perfect moment. Little touch hot here, but you know, what can you do in a side situation like that? Perfect capture of the moment. Carol Annis, Riverview. Okay, I like what you're going for down here. I just feel like you're not really showing your subject. I'd like to see it a little stronger. You know, I like this leading there telling you where it is. It's, you know, in Richmond and that bridge I'm very familiar with. But all of this foreground doesn't help you. It just bring it in tighter. Bring this to the edge with just a hint of space on the left. And this right down here, and we cut off there. Perry Matthews. Saucer Magnolia. Oh, great movement in the background to go with that. You can't hear me? I'm kind of losing my voice, and I'm trying to save some of it, hopefully. Um, Tulip Magnolia, I believe. And I love this movement in the background. The placement of this element is beautiful. It's nicely done. Michael Orr, Sentinel of the Cemetery. Wow. That, with that cloud, makes this image. I'd like to see more uh, detail down here. It's almost a flat rendering, and maybe a little more contrast might help. A little more brightness down to the bottom, I don't know. But um, the strength of this tree with that cloud is the important part. Penny Holler, Shanghai Clock Tower. Interesting angle. It has a nice lean to it, and like you're looking straight up from a little bit of a distance away from the building, so we can get both clocks and get that corner in nicely. Uh, it makes it a little more dynamic, having it not just straight up and down. Leo Vainberg, now it's skimming along. Oh, I'm envious. Love this capture. Nicely done and very well rendered. Jerry Posano, snack time. I'm curious as to why you went so high contrast on this. It gives it an interesting look, a little on the hard edge size. Um, and I don't tend to think of wildlife in that way, but it does give it a different look for wildlife. Composition and design of it is nice. This light right here should be right at the edge or just inside the edge. You don't need all of that up there. If you get that right across there, maybe a touch off that side, but... 
interesting rendering on that. Quite different. Also, Jerry Posado. Sun sets on the Old Man River. Wow. Nice sunset. I might have liked to see a little bit more sun. We got good placement out of the boat. I mean, you stuck that in there really well. This up here is a little too bright, but then I wouldn't want to crop any of that out. Um, it's not much more you could do to this image. Uh, I doubt that you've got any detail down here you can render at all or in this black strip here. So it's not bad. Susan Jaffer Reed. That was close. <laughs> <laughs> Good sports capture. Might tighten it up just a little bit, but other than that, it's a great sports capture. Bill Whitworth. Tree dead. All right. This is a little confusing to the eye, at least to my eye, anyway. This brings me in. This line here takes me across. All of this blurred here bothers my eye. I want to see something sharp. I have to wait till I get all the way over here. Maybe if you bring this in tighter, maybe even right to that edge there, put that a little bit, maybe halfway. That way this goes farther to the right, allowing the eye to go there quicker and easier. Because that's almost bothersome on that side. Jay Daddy. Violet and gold. Beautiful flower shot. I like it against the black. And I love the diagonal movement of it. It's beautiful circular here. But this diagonal line brings you right on in. Nicely done. The whites, I can't tell if they're too hot. But you know better than I. It looks good here. Patricia Munford from Vortex. Ooh. I'd want to know more about this image. I love the shot. I don't know what it's of, but it's got beautiful movement, good design. It's a little hot in there, but it doesn't bother me as much as I would expect. Very interesting. Also, Patricia Munzer. You can't hear me? Kind of hard. Oh, I'm sorry. I can't really speak any louder because of my voice. So, am I not getting the mic close enough? Okay. Waiting. Nice portrait of this two guys. This line over here. Get rid of this space here. That doesn't add anything to me. Okay, you might even get rid of a little touch of that space because this is the image is right here. That's what I want to see. Paul Bickford, wash day, great color, and the cyan blue there against that red, and then the blue over there. That's perfect. But the image is right here. Now, you've got to get bold enough to say, all right, this is my image. Do I really need this? You know, I kind of like these three bowls there, but that emptiness right there bothers me. So maybe you bring it down to here to that edge. Okay. Or you either take out two bowls and bring it down like this. What's important to you in this image? This here or these? Does that add enough to it to keep it all in? Or do you crop some of it out? Liz Smith. Waterfall at Zion National Park. This is a hard one, hard one to critique. Um, the lines are nice. I like this movement here, bringing me around and down and up and around. This brightness up here bothers me. I'm not sure I'd let it leave it in, but then you can't really take it all out either. So I'm not sure how to better render this one. 
Sashi Iyer. What's this? Interesting look at the designs. All right, basically that shape down at the bottom being uh, so strong. And then the repeat of the squares above it is kind of nice. But again, the tendency to leave too much in. You know, a lot of images, I mean, look at this. If you bring it across that line right there, it has a tendency to bring your eyes straight down into this. These up here allow your eye to go back out. So I'd take it across that line right there. Dave Johnson. Zion National Park. Uh, too bright. What technique you're using. Uh, I like this texture here. Uh, but this appears too bright to me. And it might be because it's projected. I'm not sure. Uh, I feel like I'm losing a lot. Sashi Iyer. That's the last image. Uh, if, if I can say one thing, the quality of the images tonight is just great. I just love what y'all are doing. Uh, I've done this for years with different clubs and groups, and this group just has a lot of good photographers in it. A lot of really good ones.